Hello everybody, welcome to a world tour of my Let's Play Survival World for my new series, Minecraft Monday. Hello everybody, I'm Joel Homie, your guys is a host for a sneak peek into what my new Minecraft Monday series is going to be like. Now this video is simply going to be a world tour for the world that the Let's Play series will be regarding around. So this is the same world that has been featured on basically every episode that I've ever done in Minecraft, but it is a lot more advanced than any version I have shown here on YouTube yet. So let's go ahead and get started with what we've seen before. So we'll go and start with the mountain base. This is what I did first, and then we'll slowly move here into the yard, and then we'll move through out here into what will eventually be my village, but let's go ahead and start here in the mountain base. So the mountain base I started building quite a while ago, originally it was just a one story, as you can see it did actually start down here, the doorway was this block right here and this block right here, and then later this floor actually got moved up by one block so the entrance actually got moved to a couple different places over here in the mansion is one entrance with a zombie waiting by the door for me so this is one entrance that we can take so as you can see this does in fact lead down to a hallway and I will go ahead and show you where that goes in just a second and then you have the easy entrance that I added very recently which is right here this simply just goes up to the second floor and then this is the first floor, and then there is actually the sort of mine area below that. And then the third entrance is a little bit shorter. It's not as long as that one, but it's definitely longer than this one. It is right here, sort of hidden in the mountain. It's supposed to be like a mini mine trick, so if you're not paying attention, you won't notice it. But you walk through here, and here is a redstone pressure plate door. It's just the one block version, though, that I made. It's like the half version of the two block version. And then this leads to another hallway where you can go down to this shaft with some ladders. And then here, this is actually where that other door comes out. So as you can see here, this is in fact the same hallway that I had just showed you. As you can see here, we've got a window of the big shaft going down to my mine, which we'll look at later. And then right here, as you can see, this is in fact where we just came in a second ago. Because this is the entrance that is inside the house. But I'm going to go ahead and use the shortest entrance, and the one that I like to use the most is this. And as you can see here, there was actually windows here originally when the door was here. This was sort of like a little overlook, but it has turned into the new entrance. So let's go ahead and start right here. So we've got a crafting table, just in case you need to run in and make something, which is useful for me because, as I said, right now I am building my village out there. And then through here, this is an empty room, but this does uh, show where the stairs are, so it's always on this side of the base. So, real quick, let's talk about a little bit of the schematics for this base. So, most rooms are a 7x9 layout. As you can see, this one is a 9 block layout, or a 9 block row, and this one is a 7, seven block row. So, on the 7 block side, if there is a doorway, there will be torches on either side. If there's no torch, it's in the center. And then the same it goes for over here, only except when there is no door, it's not in the center. It's on either side, one block away from the corners. And then, most most of these rooms do actually have doors but a lot of them don't but anyway with that being said so as i said this is the entrance and this is a plain room with these stairs going downstairs but let's finish this floor first and then through here this is in fact as i said the one of the other rooms that share the stairs this goes up to the next floor this would actually be so the floor above us would be floor four because this is in fact actually floor three so I was mistaken earlier, this is not floor 2, technically this is floor 3 because I call the mine area floor 1, but uh, this was originally floor 2. And then through here, this is just an empty room, there's nothing in here, although originally this was actually my friend Deegan's quarters, and this was my quarters way back when, but we moved into here. This was our quarters a little while ago, as you can see I made this room all nice with some water in the background, but and since I was... Um, moving out into the house, I moved everything out there for me and Deegan. And then through here, this room, as I said, is empty. And then this used to be our army. There's actually nothing in here now. It's another empty room. 
And then now let's go ahead and go down and take a look at what is technically the first floor, but I call the second floor. So as you can see here, going down the stairs, this is the sign showing you what is up on the second floor, or technically the third floor, excuse me. So up there we have the viewing window and armory, which I, technically that one's wrong, because obviously this is not a viewing window anymore, this is the entrance. And then down here, this is a... Uh, Originally, where the door was, it was these two blocks right here, so this is actually a modified room. This is a 7x10 because the door didn't fit in place, because originally the door was here, way back when I started, but I made it a double door, so I had to expand this so that the door was in the center. But anyway, here we've got furnaces and chests with coal inside of them, and then here is an example of the double doors, I expanded this one as well. And then here we've got a blast furnace, we've got some ore in there. And then we've got three normal furnaces. Here we've got the loom. Next to that is all the wool. And then here we've got a crafting table. And in here there is actually just a bunch of supplies. And then going through here, as you can see, this is where the stone cutter and the stone grinder is. And then there is actually nothing in the chest, I don't believe. So. And then here we've got a pillager flag. You'll see these are all throughout the base. And then here is the stairway going down to the mine area. So as you can see here, there is no, actually no sign here. I don't know why there isn't one there. But down here, this was originally actually two rooms. Because you can see here, this actually does split evenly between these torches. So originally, I believe the wall would have actually been right here. So this would have been a room and this would have been a room. But I took that out when I made my water plant. Which is a build that is just for looks, it doesn't really do anything. Originally, I called it my power plant, but now it is in fact my water plant. So as you can see here, we've got some torches and some water inside the floor with some glass and an outline of cobblestone. And then the water presumably travels up through here, goes through here, and throughout the base. And then it goes back down through here, or it could go up through here and go down over there, whichever you like. And then we've got some glowstone in the corner. Over here in the back, we've got mine and my friend Egan's vault so as you can see here we've got some chests in here most of these are actually empty but in the center one we do have some emerald and some ender pearls as well as some grass block and a bucket of lava and then over here we've got a bunch of potions this is one I just made a while ago for trying to get villagers and I wasted my splash potion on myself accidentally but anyway there is some more pillager flags, a crafting table, and a outline of glowstone, as well as just some other glowstone on the walls and in the center of the floor. And I believe this is actually birch wood or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what's here. I think this might be dark oak. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, the last thing to look at is this. This little hallway leads into the mine. So as you can see in the beginning of the video, there was an outline of windows along the mountain. And this is what was inside. Because way back when me and my friend Deegan first got on this world together, this um, area right here was actually just a part of the mountain terrain and was not um, dug out and finalized like this. So me and my friend Deegan flattened the ground and with that we were left with a big space of floor underneath and actually made this. And originally the walls actually ended along here. It would have been like this, and then when I flattened the land for my for my mansion to go there, I was uh, left with a bunch of this space, so I expanded it and put some pillars in between. This is actually the pool, which will be in the yard, which I should have taken a look at that first, but we'll go and take a look at that right after this, just so that's done and over with. But if I were to mine, that water would start spilling out. And that comes down like this, because as I said, the ground originally wasn't like this. We had to raise it up and flatten it. So originally the pool was actually about at this level here, I believe. And then over here, we've got some more pillars going through here and torches. These are all evenly placed, so they look good. And then over here, this is actually not a pool, but rather, if I go through here, wrong spot, if I go through here, you can see that this is actually the stairway going up to the house and down to the mountain base, but I had it to go through the mine to actually get the stairway to go down there because originally I didn't have a stairway so I needed to have a way to get down there so I disguised this as another one of the pool thingies but what I actually call these from out in the mines perspective is like coal bunkers so this is where ore and stuff would get dumped but in reality this is actually a mine shaft and this is actually well not a mine shaft but a ladder shaft rather and this is actually a pool and then as you can see here these windows are blocked out this is in fact the 
Oh, looks like an Enderman stole some dirt. But this is actually where the stairway up to my mansion goes. So, with that being said, before we move forward in the actual mountain base, let's go ahead and go take a look at the yard. And then I will come back down and take a look at the actual mine in just a moment. But first, let's go and take a look at the yard, the mansion, and then we'll go ahead and move back into here. And then towards the end of the video, we'll take a look at the um, village because it is my latest add-on to my world. So, out here, as I had said, this was all raised, so we've got a nice long path here that, um, if you actually find down here, you can see the old pathway, which I'll have to repair this later, but I believe, yeah, you can see, actually, where the old pathway was, so this used to come through here, and go through here, back into the mountain terrain before this was raised up and flattened for my mountain base, which hopefully I have some cobblestone, yep go and repair this real quick and then the yard the same thing happened with everything else when it got raised it's a little bit different than it originally was so moving through here you can see we have a pathway going that way to the house and a pathway going this way got some torches and here is the pool so right here as you can see this is in fact where the mine is right there I can get out right here so as I said if you break that that is in fact the uh, mine right there, or and close that up, and then through here we got some glowstone at the bottom to make it look fancy and cool, and then we've got a mix of um, some trees here, and then right here is the garden, so this was originally actually one block above ground, but when it got raised, it this is the original garden, so it's actually built into the ground now, so this is the villager style of garden, because there's many other ways to do it, but anyway, here you can see it was actually expanded. I believe it was actually only three rows, and I expanded it when I flattened the land out here. And then moving over here into the mansion, we'll go and take a quick tour of that. And then we'll move down to the stables for the horses and the village towards the end of the video. But as you can see here, as I talked about in the mine, this is where the stairway goes. So this is where those windows are blocked out. And then here is the big, nice grand staircase going up from the pathway all the way up to my mansion so as you can see here this is a custom design well it's not really a custom design it's more or less just something I threw together just to you know give me something living out here and I like how it came out even while it's basic and then anyway here is the pathway going to the back so as you can see here that zombie was waiting to go in but anyway um, in here as I said very basic design nothing too special but we do have a furnace and some coal right there a crafting table and there's actually nothing in there just wanted to have stuff to put stuff if i needed it and then here we've got a brewing stand i was using this to make the weakness potion to get villagers and then right here is the logo for my channel so as you can see here is the j and then the h is in there and the s and then we've got some glass going through the second floor so that when you're up there you can look down and see this and then in each corner, well not those two corners, but in these corners we've actually got some armor, so here's a complete set of, you know, noob skin. We've got some leather and wood, and then over here is actually just a golden helmet. I just put it there because nothing else, I don't have anything else to put there. Got another pillager flag, or banner rather. And then up here on the second floor, as I said, you can look through the floor and see the JHS logo right there. I think it looks really nice. And then we have actually got a sunroof, so during the daytime this is nice in here. And then actually we've got some netherrack on each corner right there, as you can see, to have some flames. And then on the bottom of that, on the ceiling part of this, we've got some lanterns. And then you got torches throughout, and here is mine and Deegan's bed where they got moved from the inside. So here's Deegan's bed, got his stuff in there, here's my bed, and my stuff in there. And then here we've got a ender pearl, and then I believe there's another one over here. There's another ender pearl, golden pickaxe, and then a golden apple, both as display pieces because, you know, golden stuff kind of sucks. And then we have got some more armor up here, so here's just a stock complete set of golden armor. Here is my very first enchanted diamond helmet, and one of my very first enchanted diamond swords. And then if you would have seen earlier, this is actually, this is my most recent diamond thing. I built another diamond sword. Here is my actual normal driver. I've got fire protection, glass protection, and normal protection on here. This is my iron suit. So, as you can see, they're full iron. This is all nearly brand new. I think it's all completely healthy and not damaged. And then we've got my iron sword right there. This chest is sort of like a, um, this is all the tools chest for enchanted 
stuff, so enchanted tools and the helmets and armor will go in here. Over here, I just got a random thing because originally Deacon was going to stay in here, but for some reason he built a base over there. So I just put some random stuff here. And then over here, I've got a fully enchanted suit of gold and armor. You might be asking why, because I found this enchanted golden helmet from a zombie and the same thing goes for the torso, so I quickly ran out, killed some stuff, got the experience, and enchanted some boots and some leggings and a sword to go along with it. So blame me if you want, but I don't care. And then over here, this is sort of like the skunking look uh, with the chain armor, I just needed the torso and the shoes, and then we got an enchanted bow right there. I like this feature how you can sometimes see through it and see the cobblestone through there. But anyway, there is the second floor with everything explained, and then of course you got a bunch of glass paying all around, and some more pillager posters, or not posters, the banners. I told them about three different things in the video already. And then on the first floor, I didn't mention, but we do have an outline of oak wood along the floor, and then the two pillars there, obviously. And then out through here, you can see that we have some um, fences with the lanterns hanging off on either side. And then we got some trees out here, nice rose bush. I really like this one because of the red. And then over here we've got, I believe this is dark oak if I'm not mistaken. And then we've got another oak tree over there. And then over here it's just more randomly assorted stuff. This leads back into the yard. And with that being said, there is everything like the yard and the mansion. And now we can move that back down. And instead of going down, let's go ahead and move up. So walking through here. We're going to move up to floor 4, so this is where the chest room, enchantment, and viewing area is. So as you can see here, this is an empty room, but it does have the stairway. And then over here is the chest room, and this is that viewing area that the sign was talking about. So as you can see here, we've got a, a mini balcony, and inside we've got some windows staring out. This was just an excuse to make the mountain not look weird, because I did have to mine a new chest room a while ago. To store stuff and I blew out the side of the mountain so I decided to try to make it look good and it actually turned out, turned out looking pretty nice in my opinion but anyway in here we've got some chests so as you can see these sides that do refer to what's inside so the way this works is just the first set of words refers to what's in the first box and the second set of words refers to what's in the second box so you can see we've got cobblestone and dirt cobblestone and dirt and then we've got other random blocks other random blocks and the same goes for here wood and building stuff wood and actually technically I added plants in there because they sort of go along with it and then over here we've got building stuff this is pre-built stuff that I can already use to build and then here is tools weapons and dining so tools which these are some of the diamond swords or not diamond um, golden swords that I had to use to enchant because I already had them from killing I believe pigmen or something like that from the nether and then here we got food which actually we are very low right now we don't have very much at all and then moving over random and ore this is just random stuff and then down here is ore technically a lot of this isn't ore like gunpowder and sugar but it all goes down there and then over here is extra blocks so this is all dirt and sand because these i clarify is sort of the same thing and then right here we've got some more random blocks so here we've got a bunch of gravel and a bunch of andesite and then here we've got some spare supplies and blocks whereas this one actually says extra blocks and supplies these are the same thing, but these signs I added at different times. So this one is more cobblestone, and this one is actually currently empty, but that is usually more cobblestone. I am currently out in that bucket because, um, well, chest, because I'm building the whole entire uh, village, which is using a lot of it, let alone the house or the mansion. So there is the chest room, and then there is actually another um, crafting table there, and then this is the broken stuff box. So as you can see, we've got a crossbow and bow that are nearly dead. And they are in there because I don't have any other things to mix them with to repair them. That's why they are in there. And then through here, this is the enchantment room. As you can see, we've got the bookcases going around to enhance the um, en enhancements, or en enchantments rather. So as you can see, just the enchantment table right there, the bookcases going around. Nothing too special there, or nothing too out of the ordinary. And then moving to floor 5, this is the small viewing window and balcony. So this originally was quite a small window when I started this, but I did actually make a perpendicular setup over there and made these match, so this actually ended up being a lot bigger than it used to be, so as you can see here we can see out there. So the higher windows are better for looking out into the valley or like the fields, but the lower windows are typically better for actually looking at the base. But anyways through here you can see this is an empty room besides the stairway. 
and then the sign right there, and then this is a completely empty room, but this one does share the uh, doorway out to this balcony, which looks like an enderman has been up there. Didn't mean to do that. Need to get some stone. Put that back. Oh, there you go. And uh, as you can see, this is the balcony. We've got some torches there, and uh, this is one of the older parts. Like, this has not changed much besides, you know, this used to be open before I added the big suite rooms up there, but this was one of the... This is one of the only things in the base that has actually stayed, stayed completely untouched through here, because I almost never even come up here anymore. There's no reason to be here. And then, that is one thing that I like to mention. Before I mined out down there and had the big stairway going in here, I would have three doors shut. The exit that's back here, which I'll go over in just a moment, and then this door would stay shut because it goes to the outside, and then the one, the old entrance, before everything was mined out over there with the pathways, that door would also stay shut. But this is a completely stock room, nothing in here, and then this is just the perpendicular setup to that set of windows over there. And then moving to the, I believe this will be the 7th? Actually, no, this is the 6th floor. So up here we've got the larger suite with viewing window number 1, because there is actually 3, and an exit. So up here you can see that through here we actually have one of the, what I'm calling a big suite. So uh, originally I was going to turn this into mine and Deegan's quarters, but um, it'd be frustrating to have to go up here every time we have to go to sleep, so I put it down there in the mansion instead. And then over through here, this is where that exit is. This is also one of the um, older things that hasn't gone changed much. And then through here, this is the rear exit or entrance, as you can see here. It used to be small, I believe it was just this little setup right here, and then when I mined upward, I had it to, um, well, I blew out the mountain again, so I made this little window so that on the seventh floor, I believe that is, you can look down and see if there's any enemies out here when you're in survival, because usually this is a survival world, but I'm using creative to give you guys the tour, so I can fly around, and then also if I accidentally break anything. But moving up to the seventh floor, larger suite with viewing window number two and then exit overlook which is that window that i just showed you so here we've got the suite number two and then here is that overlook window overlooking the rear exit as you can see there and then also we got some pillager flags because um or banners because um the idea is that if you're some invader out here you'll look at this and think "Ooh, pillagers these people are tough i don't want to go in there even while my base looks nothing like a pillager outlook but anyway, up here on the 8th floor, here we've got the uh, large suite with viewing window number 3. So, uh, once again, don't get confused with the 7. This actually refers to the floor that you're on. So this is the 8th floor. Nothing in here. This is a stock room. And then here we've got the 8th uh, floor suite. This overlooks a lot of the valley. You can see a lot of the village here if the mansion wasn't blocking everything. But now that we've taken a look at the mountain base, now let's go ahead and move down to the village as promised. And here we are, on the outside, who knew we could see light again. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the village now. So we can start right here at the stairway leading down from the mansion down to here. So we can see here that we have a pathway, I believe this is 10 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah this is 10 blocks wide. And then it has an outline of cobblestone which is my design for the pathways which will have the um, layer dirt that is done with the shovel. Oh, actually that's an axe, I don't know why I picked that up. I'm actually missing my shovel right now. And then um, it has the outline of cobblestone. And then moving through here, this is the stable that I built. This is a custom design. I didn't follow anything. I just put it together as I was going, if you know what I mean. And then this does have an outline of fences. Got a tree right there. And then there was actually a tree right here and right there for the other um, stable. But they both grew to be really big and glitched out and grew inside of the barn or stable, whichever you want to call this, it is technically a stable because it doesn't have siding, but um, in the video where I make this, which will be a future episode that I already have recorded, I call this a barn a whole much because, um, a whole much, a bunch, because of, you know, the idea up, up here. But anyway, moving through here, as you can see, this is where I keep my horses, it's the whole reason I built this, and here we've got sort of like the... Um, what I call the rich brown. So here we've got a normal rich brown, a sort of like rich brown spotted, and a rich brown with white legs. Through here we've got a plain black, a spotted white, and a plain brown. Over here we've got first these, my very first horse that I tamed and put stuff on. 
And then that is also another episode for the future is where I go to another fortress to get saddles and stuff like that. And then right through here we've got this guy. I believe I called this Moonzy because of his rich brown color. I get on him real quick and take his stuff off. You can see that he is a very beautiful horse. I love this horse a lot. Put the stuff back on real quick. Right there. So that is Moonzy and Thirsty, and this is actually um, Deegan's horse. I don't know why he named this, I think he named it Cherry or something like that. Although this horse I do kind of get mad at some sometimes because the way that Deegan got his horse is he just walked up, grabbed my stuff, grabbed a horse, and walked off. Kind of first turns to me, but whatever. That's the way of Minecraft, I guess. You, you first come, first serve. But anyway, here there is Cherry on that, on stable number two. So as you can see here, there is actually a listing right here that says stable one. And then there is actually the second floor, which up here, this is where I am storing my uh, skeleton horses. So we've got four of them right now that I got from um, skeletons attacking. And the way that I got these is I got these skeletons to get mad at each other. So I would stand behind one skeleton and a skeleton would try to shoot me and actually I shoot another skeleton and then they kill each other and I can steal the horses. So we've got a lot of these guys. I love these ones because you don't have to get saddles or anything. Sure the horse aren't very good and they're not very fast but they look very cool in my opinion. And then through here this is actually where the build date of my building is. So we've got the build date. This is 31320 and then the other one is actually 31420 because this is the one that I built in the video. And then this one, um, stable number two, is actually just one that I built on my own time. So these are perpendicular to each other. This one stores more horses. What well, technically here we've got a donkey. And there we've got Deegan's horse. And then through here, this is the same, but we've got a um, dark, dark brown spotted is what I'm calling it. A dark brown mix with the white. And then a dark brown spotted with the sort of like larger circles and not this kind of spotted. And then over here, well this one's in the wrong spot, but this is a dark brown with the white um, legs. And then here we've got a plain white horse and a black with spots. And there you go. So we've got a bunch of variations here, including the skeleton horses up there, which I love every single one of these, including the donkey. I love all of these things because, you know, horses, they're cool. But anyway, here on the second floor, this one actually does not have anything set up. We've got a bell right here, which I did technically use creative to fly out to a village. So if you want to call that cheating, go right ahead, I don't care. But I did technically use survival to mine the actual bell so that I get them. And then up here, I'm going back here because this is actually a slightly different setup. If you noticed, in that one, there was nothing up in this area. But this one, if I fly up here in the daytime... Um, I wanted to simulate that this bell is ringing, so up here we've got a daylight sensor running to another bell right there, so that in the daytime this rings and simulates that this one is ringing. Now it is sort of spotty because obviously the daylight sensors in Minecraft or have always been like that and you can't really tell if they're working or not. But anyway, with that being said, there is stable 1 and stable 2, and then here on the back you do just have another little cutout with some fencing, as you can see there, and then there are torches there. And then if you haven't noticed already, the um, roofs of these stables are built out of netherrack, which I did use survival the whole entire time to mine this out from the nether. And then going through here, this is where the actual village is going to be. So that is all custom design, but this is where custom meets technically computer generated stuff. So here we've got the toolsmith, and here we've got just, this is just the normal setup. So as you can see here, we've got the build date. This is 3.15.20, which... I didn't show that earlier. The build date of this one is actually in there. You can see it says build date, and that says uh, 3.14.20. Can't really see it, but it does see say 3.14.20. And then through here, this is just a small two smith building. There's nothing special about it. I just followed a guide on YouTube. Close that. And then moving over here, this is the crafting table because I am currently in the process of building this. Like, I'm actually currently in the process of making the video where I build this for episode 3. So stay tuned for that in a couple weeks. And then through here, this is just one of the versions of a medium house. So in here we've got two beds, some tables, and some stairs simulating chairs. And then some more torches randomly assorted through there, and some windows. And then right here we actually got a tree and a rose bush. I'm not done decorating this yet because I want to get all the buildings done. Like I still need the blacksmith and a bunch of other stuff, but this is sort of like the residential area. And then that is one of the variations of the medium house, and then this is one of the variations of the small house. So, got a bed and what's supposed to be a chair right there, and some old windows. 
and then it shows the same design as everything here. We've got a outline of plain oak log, and then a main frame of a cobblestone, and then the roof is made out of oak wood plank stairs, as you can see there. And that is the same design that's shared for all of these. And then here we've got the lodge house, which we've got a, another spider and a uh, zombie waiting for. Us. I'm not sure why though. But opening this up, as you can see, this is another stock version, so we've got some beds in here, a blue one and a white one, and then on here, the second floor, is a white bed and a purple bed, and then in here is a chest, which I randomly threw an oak sapling in there because I needed the space. But anyway, down through here, you can see that there's sort of something that I like here. You can see that if you look through here, the window carries across every single building, so you can see it through everything kind of cool in my opinion and then there I know there was one thing that I had looked at and didn't show you we'll take a look at that in just a second but I know I looked at something and didn't show it and I don't want to accidentally miss something right I um something oh yeah before I forget let's go ahead and go take a very quick look at the rest of the mine because I really don't want to forget that so the mine is actually pretty basic because um, there's nothing too special about it, because it's a mine, it's just for the pure factor of mining. So don't get this confused with the mine, because this is not actually the mine. This is just that space that I had, so as you can see here, this is actually the mine shaft going down to level 5. Looks like an enderman has been down there. But as you can see here, it says, uh, to lower chance of getting lost fellow signs in mine, down to level 5, good for iron, coal, gold, and lava collecting. Use this shaft to enter finalized mine for ore. So through here, you can see this is actually that window from that trail that I had showed you earlier. This is actually the hallway leading down from the house. If I go through here, as you can see, that is leading back up to the house, and that looks out here into the mine shaft, which I'm very glad I ran into this because it looks quite cool in my opinion. And then going all the way down here, you can see that we end up at level five. And down here, oh boy, it looks like a enderman has been going to town down here on the walls. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to fix all this. Actually, we're all down here, I'm going to go ahead and... There we go. Get away from that creepy sound. But anyway, here on this sign, you can see that it says danger. Enter at your own risk, finalize mine, and points at the second ladder. So heading up here, you can see here that this is actually a strip mine that my friend Deegan had done a long time ago because before any of this existed, like before I mined out this shaft, this was actually originally just a mine that me and Deegan had used. So as you can see here, it says danger, 95% chance of getting lost, finalized mine, and points this way. And then we'll go ahead and go this way. Looks like another enderman has been doing stuff down here. But um, this room was originally just a mine full of lava and stuff like that. Like there is actually another trail going off here that got messed up, so I just clogged it up. But we do have a stack of ore here in the corner. And then through here, this is actually the mine mine. Like, this is where you go to get stuff that I don't care. Like, here, I don't like it when people do this because it makes it look weird. So, I made an area. Well, technically, this actually was computer generated. But I made it finalized so that you can actually use it. Suit. So, these signs, once again, say coal, iron, and uh, gold through there. And then mine points that way and enter at your own risk. Danger, 95% of getting lost. That's sort of just made up. I wanted to make it seem scary like a, you know, a real mine. And then up through these stairs, this is actually, this was a computer generated mine, but I made it all nice and used cobblestone and mined out a bunch of stuff. So as you can see, I've got some fire and a assortment of torches all over the place. And then through here, I've got a chest of some stuff. So if you come down here and forget something, You've got stone stuff here, which I personally don't like using, it's very slow compared to what I usually use, which is a enchanted iron pickaxe. But here we've got a other couple things like a food, and some coal, and then cobblestone for building blocks, which apparently were currently low because Deegan was down here mining. And then through here, this is lava collecting. This will be here for limited time. Oh, that's me. I thought I heard footsteps. But anyway, this is lava collecting. I don't know how long this will be here. Actually, I've never even used that. I don't think you can actually collect lava from a running source like that. I think it has to be uh, subtle. But here is mine number one. So this was actually the mine that this room was built out of. So up here, you can see that this is actually a mine. There's nothing special about this. This is all computer generated. And then it meets up with the design here, which as I said, I built this up with cobblestone. This is actually the roof of the, or well, like the ceiling of the room down here. 
So as I said, some of it is mined out, but some of it is actually built like that part. And then here's some fire to indicate where the door is. And then through here is the only part of the mine that I've actually been using to get stuff. So here you can see we've got a strip mine going down this way. And I'm not going to go through all of this because, you know, there's a lot here, but it's all just strip mining. There's nothing special about any of this. But through here, I believe, hopefully we'll run into the spot where... I had found diamonds, which that's actually this strip mine. That one is a new strip mine. This strip mine is my very first strip mine that I ever actually used for myself. And then through here, this is actually a spot that I found diamonds. You can see it says diamonds found at times 2, 3, 4, 20, 20. So that was quite a while ago because I believe it is actually the currently for me the 16th or something like that. I'm not sure. And then here we've got another strip mine going through there. There's nothing special about this one. But once again, it's just a strip mine. And then actually, this does lead up to another mine that me and Deegan actually used before all of this. And then through here, going all the way down, we've got some more torches. These are actually not um, placed in any order. I just sort of placed them when I started to get dark as I was mining this. And, you know, I got very lucky and didn't find anything while I was mining this, like any diamonds and no nothing. But anyway, through here, I actually don't know what's down here. So this leads somewhere. I'm not sure where, though. Oh boy, where does this go? Okay, so it's another mine, but I'm not too sure how I ran into that or who or how I knew how to ran into that. Must have heard like some cave noises or something like that, which in bedrock edition there are no cave noises, so yeah, I don't know how I ran into that. But anyway, heading back through here, we'll go ahead and go down to the next one. So as you can see, you're going down here. I believe there's nothing special about this one. Going super fast. Looks like this one actually goes for quite a while. Yeah, so as you can see here, must have found something special there because the stuff's missing. And then through here, I believe this, yeah, this runs into a mine again, which this was actually, this is a mine that me and Deegan still use, but we don't use this way to get down here. Usually we use the actual way that we originally got in here. So going back through here, I'll go ahead and go to the... I believe the other strip mine, yeah, it's right here. So as you can see, this is right next to it. It was kind of dumb to mine right next to each other, because if you don't find anything in this one, chances are you're not going to find any much of anything in this one. But as you can see, the, the best thing that I actually found in here was iron and um, uh, what's it called, redstone. So nothing too good in there, so I'm probably going to use dynamite and blow these out pretty soon here. And then here, this is where this strip mine actually stopped. So when I was mining this up before I did these, I was going to just keep on going. But I ran into lava and had to clog that up. I'm letting it peek through right here so that you can see it and don't accidentally like run into something because you can't see it. And then here, this is the last strip mine. I don't believe this actually leads much of anywhere. Yep. So nothing much is there. And then actually it looks like, yeah, nothing there. Actually, I believe Deegan actually mined that out. But anyway, going back through here, we'll go ahead and fly back to the main part of the mine right here so as you can see that is mine number one with all the strip mines and then now we'll go to the mine that i actually don't use as often mine number two which as you can see this one says it's good for iron coal and redstone well yeah iron coal and redstone and then this one mine number two is okay not good for because this one doesn't have a lot of stuff in it it's okay for coal and lava collecting. So through here, this one actually does, after a while, loop around back to mine number one. And then through here, um, as I said, there is some coal in here. So as you can see, lava collecting, good. And this is, once again, computer generated. And then I believe this coal in a couple places, like, as you can see, it's not really good for much. There's not much down here. But this is another one that's very easy to get lost in. So I don't venture off in this one too often. I usually go to my go to mine number one. Or actually, of recent dates, me and Deegan found a new mine going all the way down to level 11, which has a lot of good stuff. So now we're using that one. But anyway, back through here and back up to the surface, we'll go and take a look at that church up on the village for the last part of this video, and that will conclude the survival world tour for the upcoming series, Minecraft Monday. Through here, I don't think I actually showed this, but this is where it leads down to the tunnels. Got some signs there, danger, make sure you have supplies for leaving. Good luck, you just witnessed work of JHS, and then welcome to the JHS Mountain Fortress. Walk in if you've been given permission, and enter right there. Had an extra sign, so I put it there, because it seems kind of pointless. 
But heading back up to the surface real quick, we'll go and take a look at that church down at the end of the village. We're going to luckily just stay time out here. All nice and pretty. And then here, actually one more thing. It's a very small and kind of, it's not really special. But here we've got a mine. So this was found 3920. That is when I finalized this little entrance. So you can see here this goes down. And literally the only thing I've actually used this for is stone. Like when I'm out here and I don't want to run inside and get stone from the mountain base or mountain fortress as it says inside. I'll come down here and literally just start mining random stuff for stone and stuff like that. Or actually cobblestone. And then moving down here to the church. So as you can see here this is actually... Well, if you look from this way, this is similar to the church. This was actually built off a of video originally, but as I explained in the episode 3 of uh, Minecraft Monday, which will come out in a couple weeks, um, I explained how this pathway does not meet up with how this would have to be even, so I expanded this to two doors instead of one, so that it would break even between the uh, walkway, like here, you can see we've got two blocks, and two blocks instead of like two blocks and then one block on this side actually it'd actually be three and two and then through here this is all sort of stock in here only except this would usually be only three blocks wide so this would be this so this row of blocks would actually be here because as i said this would usually only be three blocks wide but here you got the build date 3 15 20 and then up through here this does lead to the second floor nothing too special right here and then up here, this is actually the part that's modified. This is sort of like the outlook for, um, I, I sort of said in the video that the iron golem would hang up up here, but I don't think the iron golem would, you know, be able to fit through this. And two, the iron golem is supposed to walk around and protect and keep an eye out. So up here, it wouldn't be doing much good. But anyway, with that being said, I believe that concludes today's video. Although, technically, this is uh, sort of a building, I guess. It's built out of dirt. I was using it to protect the zombie villagers, which I accidentally let out. Because um, I had dirt sitting here, so imagine that's dirt, and I broke that, and they ran out and started killing me. And they both caught on fire, and they died. So I'm waiting for more villagers, or zombie villagers currently, because there's no villagers close to me to pull villagers out of. But anyway, with that being said, I believe that concludes today's um, Survival Minecraft World Tour for the upcoming series Minecraft Monday. So if you guys enjoyed the video, 